I don't know what happened in the next life. Maybe I don't have a pencil. So it's better to be productive with this one. Maybe it's no paper there. That will be hell, you know. It's better to do it here, now, and prove what you can do. It's a show who covers so many years. It would be difficult to find something who define what happened here. And I, I don't try to find it. I think it's more, I see it like a, like a stop of the train. You stop in 85, you stop in 96, and the next stop is 2009. Of course, some things are familiar. And some things are unfamiliar because they are disappear appear in a new way, new shapes. And it's what I see in this exhibition. I don't see it like a, as a retrospective because I still am very young to have a retrospective and I need to, to, to continue in this long journey. I am very happy with this work. It's, it's like a, you have a flashback of your memory. Like the same happened with this. But this is older. It's like a, somebody else do that. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see it, but not me. Eh? <laughs> this one note, this one I enjoyed. I do it and was, it lived longer with me. This is not, this was really like a take it away quickly. Whatever. And, the, and this is the paradox of Belgium. To, here I was inventing the saxophone, but you ne ne never find a place to be using here. You need to go to another side of the world, to Harlem, where you find the soul improvisation. And there I, you don't find best instrument to play just than the saxophone. And I make one word about that. So this cross cross destinies eh? between here and there. I'm always I'm so afraid, so afraid of glass, especially these ones. When, when I made this work in Documenta in 92, for hanging the glass, they took one month. I using this like in pass. It's a situation you, you can see through, but you cannot pass. In 85, I went to South Dakota with the Lakota people. And the only new in the whole town was the jail, but the jail was making glass, no, with, with the iron bars, no, no, was making glass, because the Indians always killed themselves. So this is the image what I have from there. Clothes around the walls, glasses to see the 24 hours, you don't have privacy. And I say, what a terrible prison who you can see through, but you cannot pass. It's an installation who I made some years ago. This is the third time who I installed this work. And the title is Every, Every Life is a Fire. It's a small sentence who I took from the, a mystic, German mystic from the 17th century, uh, Jacob Boom. The real sentence is Every, Every Life is a Fire. Even the fish in the water is fire. And apply so much power of life. Well, I want to put it here in this red carpet with all these spheres going to the center. It's a beautiful church 
It's a beautiful spot to do it and meaning something more for me. First I have the book and after that I decide to make this, the installation like real body of mm. because so, mm. I, I, I keep it together mm. against all the temptations to to split. It's, it's, this is like a, the myth of a Greeks, you know, who, the man who goes with the stone and when he's in the top the stone go down and he need to climb it again. This was the feeling I have with this. I made this in six months. I was good out of the society. I don't went out too much, just buy materials. It's not about the universe, it's about drowning. I was very pleased to do it. I was happy I, I, I showed you the first drowning. And I said to Isabel, I got to make a thousand drowning. I said, Go, go for it. And there, it, why, why not? Like a piece of cake. You know? The people say to me, "This looked like it was always here, but this, this room looked like it was made for being." with this work here, and in fact it's a, it's a nice compliment to hear that. That means with the energy of the room and the work match, and they create sort of third state. That is good.